A7 at the Olympic Stadium for the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games Athletics. It was another hot one for the athletes at 34 degrees Celsius. For the first field event of the day, the men's F53 shot put finals. Amongst the large field of 10 athletes, Asadola Azimi of Iran, whose third throw of 8.14 metres was good enough for third place. Scott Seven, twice he's won a silver medal at the World Championships in Lyon and Doha. His final throw of 8.41 metres secured him another silver medal. The one they all had to beat, though, was Che John Fernandez from Greece. The former rugby player threw 8.44 metres for a new European record and the top spot. Che John Fernandez is Paralympic champion, 8.44 metres. Seven takes silver for the United States and Azimi the bronze for Iran. In the women's F12 shot put, the world record was broken over and over. From Mexico, Rebecca Valenzuela Alvarez's third attempt beat out enough of the field to take bronze. Sofia Birkanova's fourth throw of 15.05 metres broke the world record though for the second time in the F12 category. Assunta Legnante from Italy gave it everything on her last throw of the day and it was confirmed 15.74 metres and her season's best. So Legnante takes gold for Italy, Birkanova for Uzbekistan silver with a new world record and Valenzuela Alvarez the bronze. So this is the women's 100 metres T35 final. Ready and away they go. And on the inside, hold away fairly. Lyle's giving her a race. Look at Ju right down the outside. Hold the inside. Ju the outside. It's going to be really close. Hold and Ju. Ju's got her. Ju's beaten Holt. Lyle third, bronze medal for Britain. And getting into fourth on the outside. It looked to be Coop from Australia. So it was a great battle inside and outside lanes and Holt has been surprised here by Zhu from China the time 1366 Paralympic record where we thought she was an unknown quantity and could be the real fly in the ointment for the world champion and that's how it proved to be this is where Holt comes into her own Holt may have had a slight lead only for a few strides and then Zhu in the final 50 comes away and Holt obviously in two Zhu in seven long way away she's not going to be able to see with the naked eye exactly how it's going maybe a little glance over the big screen Zhu coming through this a 17 year old she's two years older than Holt 13 6 6 she wins Holt with the silver and Lyle the bronze the men's javelin F13 the third throw from Nemanja Dmitrievich of Serbia was enough to take him into second with 60.86 metres, a new personal best. However, Sajad Nikparast stepped up and threw 62.74 metres on his last throw of the competition, enough to secure silver for Iran. Alexander Svenchnikov only turned 18 years old this summer but didn't appear to be lacking experience. Challenging the world record marker throughout the day, his second throw of 65.69 metres and a new Paralympic record would earn the gold medal. So Uzbekistan takes gold, Nick Parast from Iran the silver and Dimitrievich the bronze. The women's long jump continued to impress with the T37 finals. Jody Elkington-Jones, the reigning Commonwealth Games champion, was confident she could contend for a medal. She was right. With her second attempt, she leapt 4.3 metres. Liebart was strong all day. Her jump of 4.42 metres saw a new Paralympic record. China's Wen Xiaoyan was truly dominant, jumping considerably further. Her jump of 5.14 metres was a new world record for the T37 classification. 
So China's Wen Xiaoyan takes gold, Liebhardt of Germany the silver, and Elkington Jones takes home the bronze. The final of the women's 400 metres, T38. Here's Karina Cox, the world 100 metres champion. And away they go. Cox out strongly in lane seven. Chen out the strongest in lane five for China. She's already overtaken on the outside. Maria Fernandez of Portugal. Cox will have a bit of work to fend her off in lane seven. Manso going well in two. Hippolito going better in three. It's Cox, it's Chen, it's Hippolito, it's Chen in the middle, it's Cox on the near side, and Cox is moving up with 50 to go. Chen is fighting back for China. Cox is moving up, and Kadena Cox has done it. Gold in cycling, gold in athletics, had the same Paralympic Games, and it's a new world record for Kadena Cox. One minute, point seven one and it's history right across the board it is a history making win and gets the box set as well with the world record from chen junfai veronica ipolito from brazil in third